Okay, today we're going to implement a number guessing uh, program or game and um, the comments here describe how that works. Basically our computer generates a number and we, the user has to guess that number and after each unsuccessful guess the program tells the user whether or not the guess is too high or too low and sort of with this guidance the user will should ultimately be able to guess the number. Alright so first we're going to uh, prompt the user to tell us what the range is. Um, so we're going to make a new scanner Okay, so we got that. Now we need to generate our random number. In order to do that, we're going to import another library called java.util.random, not surprisingly. Okay, so we're going to create our new, actually just, just for consistency, Let's put this here. Okay, so let's actually now generate our random number. We're going to call it our target. So we're going to use gen dot next int, and you can see a few different uh, options. The ones we're going to use is this next int where we pass in a, a value. And you can see that it returns a uniformly distributed integer between 0 and the specified value exclusive. So if, the spec if n here were 5, it would be between 0 and 4. Um, so if we do this, we're going to use our max here. But Okay, and so this is going to so if our max here is ten, this is going to return value, values between zero and nine. So we're going to add one to it to get values between one and ten. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so now we're going to start our guessing loop. We're going to make a counter to keep track of the number of guesses that the user uh, enters. And we're also going to have a, a variable here called curguess, which keeps track of the number that the, that the user just, just guessed. Okay, so there, here we prompt the, the user for a number, and now we start our loop. Actually, let's do this. Now, we're not actually going to initialize anything. We're not going to have any, um, any counter. Well, I guess, actually, you know what we can do? Let's do this. There's will be our counter. So we'll delete that. And so we want to keep looping until the current guess, or while the current guess does not equal our target. Okay, so if the current guess equals our target, this here is, is false, and therefore the loop exits. And every time we guess, you want to increase our, our num guesses counter. Okay, so now we're going to get the user's next guess.
Okay. Now we need to print output based on that guess. So if the current guess is less than the target, we want to tell the user that. Similarly, if the current guess is greater than the target, we also want to give the user feedback. And finally, so if neither of these two, if, if basically if, our, if, our, if we get to here, that means our current guess is equal to our target, so we want to print output for that too. And we also want to print out how many guesses it took the user to get it. OK, so hopefully that should do it for us. And let's test it out. So we're just going to start simple. We're going to say start at 20. So our next guess is going, let's, let's guess 12. OK, 12 is too high. So let's guess 4. 4 is too low. So how about 9? Nine? 9 is too low. How about? 11. Okay, so it's 11 is too high, 9 is too low, so therefore hopefully it's 10. Yes. Okay, so you see this very simple game, but we're, we're refining our usage of loops and how to do more sophisticated printing and all that good stuff. Okay, that's it for today, and good luck in your future projects.